Washington State, we don't have foreclosures in court, what's called a judicial foreclosure. Instead, we have foreclosure trustees. The role of the foreclosure trustee is to be in a neutral position between the borrower and the lender and to act fairly and in a balanced way towards both. Recon Trust has not done that. Recon Trust looks to the lender for direction and orders on what it's supposed to do, whether or not it's supposed to um, postpone a foreclosure, which might allow for a loan modification or not. It's not only unfair, it's illegal for them not to take a balanced and objective <coughs> position. Recon Trust claim that the company doesn't have to follow Washington law and Washington procedures because it is the subsidiary of a national bank is wrong. And that is why we are filing suit today in King County Superior Court. I also want to emphasize that this case is being brought individually by our office due to violations of Washington state law. We remain very much involved in the multi-state litigation involving foreclosure practices of all the large banks. I'm one of about six attorneys general who are leading those negotiations. And Bank of America is not a defendant in this suit. These concerns are with Recon Trust, so we continue to move forward in our investigation and potential litigation against all the big banks. This lawsuit is against this company, Recon Trust. So now I want to introduce Jim Sugarman, who's going to discuss our allegations in a little bit more detail, as well as a new law in the state to, it's designed to help protect uh, homeowners and additional efforts that are being made to protect homeowners as well. One of the most important things that a foreclosure trustee can do Loud. is tell you who owns their loan. Every, every homeowner is entitled to know who the actual owner of the loan is, and Washington State law requires them, requires the trustee to tell you who the owner is. Recon Trust has failed to do that. They've named the servicer, they've named an entity called MERS, but they don't tell you who owns it, and this hurts people when they're trying to stop the foreclosure. Additionally, I just want to emphasize that failing to have a local office, an office in the state of Washington, every other trustee has such an office, is going to stop people from saving their homes. You have 120 days to save your home, and if you don't have a local office, it's going to be very difficult to do so. The last thing I'd like to say is that we have recently been working very closely with the Northwest Justice Project and the Washington State Bar to create a resource for homeowners to save their homes. The Home Foreclosure Legal Aid Project is run by the Washington State Bar and Northwest <laughs> Justice. And we strongly urge people who are in trouble to contact that organization. Additionally, there's a new law in Washington that allows you to ask for mediation. If you get to a housing counselor and ask them to ask for mediation, they can demand that of the bank. And then you'll have a chance to discuss your loan and to make sure that you have every opportunity to stop the foreclosure. Thank you. Um, what we're doing is, number one, enforcing the law to maintain a level playing field. That's why we brought this action. It's why we're part of this 50-state, multi-state. It's why uh, one of my first actions as Attorney General was to go after AmeriQuest, the, the, the former subprime lender. Secondly, we've been providing resources for the last couple of years to help homeowners. We've been providing funding to the homeownership hotline so people can call to get help, talk to a certified nonprofit counselor. We've provided hundreds of thousands to the Bar Association to fund the administration of a pro bono legal project, which brings in volunteer attorneys uh, who, are refer who people are referred to after they've called the homeownership hotline. So we're, we're helping on a, sort of a, on, a, on a number of fronts. We started receiving complaints last year, and uh, in about May of 2010, we began our investigation of several foreclosure trustees. At the same time, we sent out a warning letter to every foreclosure trustee explaining and reminding to them what the laws require and we asked for information from them. Uh, for example, we wanted Recon Trust to tell us where is your physical office in the state. Uh, after a period of time it became evident they weren't meeting those requirements uh, and uh, we gave uh, Recon Trust an opportunity to come to us and say, okay, we'll start doing the right thing. Here's a, here's a settlement offer, and we just haven't been able to get there. So they have left us with no choice than to file this lawsuit. I think that we will have the full attention of Recon Trust and its owner, Bank of America, and they will become a lot more serious about sitting down and making things right.